man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're having a lovely day out there wherever you are. We're here for a really special occasion today. Um, so shout out to Jeremy, Jeremy Blackmore. Thank you so much for the email because Jeremy, you informed me that the Beatles were releasing their so-called final track and I had no idea <laughs> that this was happening. So today we are going to go ahead and give a listen to this this last, this final Beatles track, Now and Then. Um, I'm going to read some of the information over here that I um, I found in this article before we kind of get into it. But we obviously just finished listening to the White Album. Like, like literally just finished listening to that. Uh, so we're jumping right back in with the Beatles. I'm really excited to hear this. So um, I just pulled up this article really quick just to read a little bit about this because, I mean, this really is, I guess, the, the last song featuring all four of the Beatles on here. So... Um, just reading this, it says, It completes a series of Lennon pen songs handed in demo form to Paul in 1994 by Yoko Ono, with four Paul written on the cassette. Uh, McCartney and the remaining Beatles created two new songs from the recordings, which I guess had previously been released, and this is the final one of those. Uh, regarding this track, it says, The band struggled to complete the song out of the demo that was uh, now and then, and abandoned their attempt. However, with new technology and better isolation on John Lennon's vocals, they have been able to put this all together. McCartney and Ringo Starr recorded new parts for it, while of course the late George Harrison features via guitar parts kept from the shelved 1995 session. This is so, so cool to listen to. Like, okay, it could not be good, <laughs> or it could be really good. Um, I, but I'm really curious to hear how this sounds. Um, what, let's just, hey, without further ado, pop on the headphones, we'll give it a listen, we'll talk about it after, of course. If it's your first time here, you already know, well, you might not know, Beatles, they usually block their music. So I'm just telling you that up front, but you can of course go watch the whole reaction for free on Patreon. You don't have to sign up or anything. You just, just click the link uh, in case this gets blocked, when I'm, which I I'm, am expecting it to happen. Anyways, let's listen to the song. We'll talk about it after. Make sure my volume is appropriate. Here we go. Two. Okay, guys, come on. Come down the road with me. Walk down the street with me in talking about this track. Put your thoughts down below in the comments before I even start speaking. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know where you stand, where you lie, where you sit with now and then. I think even if this wasn't the final Beatles song, it's pretty good. And by pretty good, I mean, I think it's, I, I, I don't know. It's not like I was expecting. I mean, on one hand, I'm expecting a lot because it's the Beatles. On the other hand, this this track has been, you know, I guess shelved for so long and, and such that maybe I'm not expecting too much. But I guess you can color me pleasantly surprised and happily surprised in listening to this because the music here is thrilling. The way that the Beatles brought everything alive, I think the production actually sounds quite nice in here. The singing, both past and present, the harmonies, sounds so wonderful together. One thing I'm curious about is, was this track titled Now and Then originally? Like when Lennon originally wrote it? Or is that the title given now? I'm, I think that it was originally called Now and Then. I'm not 100% sure on that. But obviously Now and Then and bringing back, you know, fourth wall breaking, bringing back the past and mixing it with the present, with the current. And I think the unison, I think the harmony is absolutely wonderful. It's very nicely displayed here in the track. I think that the arrangements are really nice. Uh, besides the obvious great singing, I love the piano in there, very moving. The dramatic use of strings during the choruses to really bring things up is a wonderful touch. Um, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe it may be, was it Jeff Lynne? that is helping with the, the composition for the strings and everything? I don't know, we'll read about that, we'll, we'll see. 
I could be wrong on that particular. No, I am wrong. Mm -hmm. There we go. So the orchestra, those who are composed of it, which there are a lot, uh, but it's the string arrangement is from McCartney, Giles Martin, and then Ben Foster. Just a really, really nice accompaniment. That's all it is. It's an adornment to be dressed up with on, or with upon, I should say, the track itself. Uh, the guitar solo is, is mesmerizing, it's inspiring, and I guess obviously, obviously, there is extra power in this track being the final time that we will hear the Beatles and a new song at that. An old song, but a, <clears throat> but a new song, you know what I mean? And you can't deny that power. You can't not acknowledge that. But once again, even without that, it's a really good track. Does it rank amongst their classics? What album would it be on? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still relatively new to the Beatles and their sound and their history and the discography and such. But I feel pretty confident in saying like this is a really good track, regardless of it being their last or not. Let's look at some more information on here. Uh, but before we do, let's look at the lyrics, actually, for us to do that. So we get we get a little bit of a count in, of course. Why not? I know it's true. It's all because of you. And if I make it through, it's all because of you. And now and then, if we must start again, well, we know for sure that I love you. Now and then I miss you. Oh, now and then I want you to be there for me, always to return to me. So it's very straightforward. It's seemingly about a relationship, a love song. You know, as long as you're there, we're going to be okay. I'm going to be okay now and then, no matter when, I'll be okay as long as you're around. Um, let's get into some of the information about this here. Uh, it says here that producer Jeff Lynn reported that sessions for now and then consisted only of one day, one afternoon, really messing with it. The song had a chorus, but it almost totally lacked verses. We did the backing track, a rough go that we really didn't finish. <laughs> it says the uh, an additional fact behind scrapping the song originally was a technical defect in the original recording. A 60 hertz mains hum can be heard throughout Lennon's demo recording. However, it was noticeably louder on now and then, making it harder to remove. Of course, that, uh, that is part of the reason now that the technology was there to be able to fix those issues uh, and to remove those particular sounds and such there. And then just looking up here, it says that... Uh, on the use of AI for sound source separation, because I knew that that was a big thing, like AI, and a lot of people worried about it. Uh, McCartney added that nothing has been artificially or synthetically created. It's all real, and we all play on it. We cleaned up some existing recordings, a process which has gone on for years. So that's all that that technology uh, was used for in there. I think that this is a wonderful sounding song. I think it, I think it is a proper send off and a a very, a very highly or can be a highly regarded and well-listened final track from such an amazing band who changed the course of musical history um, from their time forward and into the future even. Still, their waves are clearly being felt. So, great track. Uh, once again, shout out to Jeremy for letting me know about the new release here. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed listening to the music. I hope that you enjoyed watching uh, the video as well. Of course, if you did, press the like button. It helps me a great deal. You can subscribe if you haven't already. You can support the channel and what I do on Patreon. You don't have to. You could just sit back, relax, and enjoy the chai that the Beatles served up here with now and then. And I do hope that, you know, now and then, and maybe once again, you come on back to the channel and, you know, in, in what's the word? Endure me. Endure. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I will talk to you all tomorrow, guys. Bye.